Hello, Marlene here with the Shadows Awaken, the demo, which I do believe is a FNAF fan game. Full disclosure, I've never played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I only know a very little bit about the lore going into this. Hopefully it's not important, but I did recently get a suggestion to try this game out by, and I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm gonna just call you Rick. <laughs> so thank you for this. Hopefully it's not too terrifying. I'm a little bit nervous there's gonna be patrols based off the game jolt page. But yeah, let's just play it. Let's see what we're gonna see. Hint, press space to proceed. Good hint, thank you. Uh, dot, dot, dot. It's been years. Michael. That name might have relevance, but I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Your eyes, they're getting dull. Who's Michael? Are we Michael? They hold power, a sight that cuts through reality. You've seen them before, haven't you? The shadows, the whispers in the dark. Talking about some uh, possessed animatronics there? My, my eyes? There are things unseen from most, yet you see their shade. Oh, the shadows hide in the dark, but your eyes, they cut through it. They always have. Oh? And I said the animatronics are possessed. I do have the knowledge that I do believe they are by kids. It's becoming weak. Uh, what do you want from me? Why are you telling me this? The light. Your eyes need the lights. Oh. Hope this isn't a Five Nights thing. Oh, this looks good though. Uh, a light? Remember why you fear the dark, Michael. Watch out, the darkness. Uh, can I have a flashlight, please? It breathes, it watches, it waits. Beware of what lurks within. Ominous. Good intro. Uh, where are we? Why are we on the floor? And shit, I'm already seeing darkness. Our eyes are special though, right? It looks like we're in the room with the window we were just looking at based on those. Wait, are we an animatronic? We're not moving very humanly. I mean, I probably won't be so scared if I get to play as one of the, uh... Okay, we sound human though. What? What? What the hell was that? Oh, we got voice acting, listen. What just... Okay, we can't see our body, so... Quite the stomping sound. The objective has been updated. Press escape to view in menu panel. Begin cha the chapter by finding the Freddy plushie. Okay. I do also know enough to know what Freddy looks like. Oh, interactable objects. There are two types of interactable objects with distinct interaction methods. The first type, instant, allows interaction by simply pressing the left mouse button. The required holding duration for press and hold oh, varies depending on the object. Okay. Uh, I feel like there was an object there I could interact with potentially, but I cannot see shit. Can we get a light, please? I was told I'd need light. Oh, we gotta hold to open doors? Oh, record player. Can we turn that on? No, I do not think we can. I do hear a radio, though, I think. During the incident, the assailants used to claim their first victim. Big when law enforcement arrived at the scene, they found a young girl who had their mouth slashed open as if her jaw had been forcibly separated from her skull. Several months mm. prior to these tragic murders, a distressing event unfolded at Fred Bear's family diner. Reports indicate that one of the animatronics from the diner inflicted fatal injuries upon a child, who was subsequently identified as the perpetrator's own offspring. The incident occurred while a group of children were engaged in play. Interestingly, the victim's older brother, who presently manages the establishment, was among those present. State police have expressed that the heinous homicide... Spaghetti! Oh no, I actually want to hear this, so we're going to stick around the radio. Following the revelation that the company's owner was responsible Give for the murders, the, the owner went missing, Ooh. leaving his eldest son in charge of the company. He's Springtrap, right? I don't know, I'm just- I'm partially guessing, partially pulling from the little bit of knowledge I have of <laughs> the series. We'll go upstairs last, because I feel like what we need is probably gonna be up there. Oh, this place 
It's not very well kept. I see a lot of insects flying around. So that spaghetti is presumably old. Oh, very used stove. Fair. Okay, I think we just did a little a little lap around the house. I guess now we can go upstairs. What is that picture? Interesting choice in the kitchen. Yeah, interesting choice. Wait, what is our objective again? I forget what we had to press. Escape. Freddy plushie. Okay, yeah, we're on the hunt for the plushie. Oh. Child paintings? Ooh, I remember those stars growing up. Those things are amazing. Oh, no, they're dangling. I thought they were the ones you stick to your uh, wall and ceiling. They are not. This looks like the um, prime place for a plushie. Oh, we found a key. Interesting. Maybe for this closet here. Wait, is that the door we... This house got me a bit confused. This is where we came from, right? Okay, not used to seeing a bedroom with doors to both sides of the house. Not that I'm complaining. Oh! There's the plushie, but I don't want to pick it up yet. Let's look around. So those are the symbols for each of the uh, different animatronics, aren't they? Because I know Chica holds a cupcake quite regularly. Foxy's got the hook. I don't know about the carrots. Microphone for Freddy? Uh, oh, <laughs> like a jungle gym in your bedroom here. I'm really hoping we get a flashlight though, because I'm gonna be honest, I cannot see shits. <laughs> okay, Freddy, I'll be back for you. I just want to get a good lay of the land, just in case we're gonna need to know some hiding places or something. Oh, I like that. I want a cute little fox picture. Oh, well, the store is just open. Can't get in that door. I don't want to pick up the plushie. So I think that's when things are going to get fucking scary. Okay, you know what? We're going to need a flashlight before we continue. Oh. And I guess that door in that bedroom didn't lead to the hallway. It led to somewhere else. Let's go check that real quick. Let's uh, delay the inevitable. Wait, I'm feeling lost. Oh yeah, this was the room. Oh, it did. Okay, so this is the other hallway. Okay. I think I got turned around somewhere. I guess let's go pick up the plushie and see what happens. Thankfully, this is just a demo, so... <laughs> uh, hopefully the scares aren't too much or last for too long. Grab the plushie. Chapter 1, The Centipede. I didn't even stop for a chapter. I don't know if I like what that's implying. What do we do now? Find a flashlight, yes please. I wonder if I already could have found it. I know we found a key. It's probably downstairs somewhere. Probably should have had it this whole time. <sighs> Bathroom. Oh, this might be the flash. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Oh, perfect. We found a flashlight. This item is useful for illuminating the dark areas that lack a light source. Press E to toggle it on and off. E is a weird one, but okay. Oh, I don't like that. Also, <laughs> that looks like an outside light. That's cool. I will not judge your design choices. Oh, what the fuck? So oh, why are we locked in here? Why did that freak me out? It was just a light being turned off. Oh, a light bulb. Probably need that. You have found a light bulb. This can be used to replace the bulbs and broken wall lamps, restoring them to full functionality. Keep an eye out for any damaged lamps you see. Repairing them could be a key to illuminating darkness. Okay. That's an interesting mechanic for a horror game. Oh, it takes a while though. <sighs> can we open the door now? Okay, that did it. Uh, find interactable paper drawings. There was some on the wall, right? So maybe those. Or oh, there's one. We have to find paper. 
focus. Holding uh, holding down space puts the player into a focused state, sharpening their hearing and allowing them to detect sounds beyond the physical world we're fucked. <laughs> the longer you focus, the louder these sources become. So take your time when tuning in. Oh, the direction you're facing is crucial. Ensure you're oriented toward the area you want to concentrate on. Keep in mind, the player remains immobile during the state. Choose your moment wisely. Follow the music. Gonna get creepy. Follow the music. Hint focus. Okay. Probably where the record player was. Nope. This is interesting. Do you think it's upstairs? Probably. We can look around in here now, since we have a flashlight. Maybe. <sighs> This is a weird little hallway here. Okay, we cannot. Oh, I think I hear it now. Hmm. So I think it's this way. Is it in here? This is confusing. Or I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hello? Maybe through this door here. Oh, the office, right? Someone's giggling. It's creeping me out. It's definitely in the kitchen, right? It must be upstairs or something, because I have been uh, focusing all over this damn kitchen. I hear music, but I don't see anything. So let's check around upstairs again. Maybe now that we have the flashlight, we can get a better look around where I <laughs> definitely was not able to see before. Take a shortcut through this bedroom. Oh yeah, we couldn't get into this door. We couldn't, it was just pitch black. Okay, bathroom. Kind of what I suspected. Nice painting. Absolutely no music up here. All right, I wonder if we should be finding light bulbs because I get the feeling these weird outdoor lights that are on the inside of this house all have the potential to burst at any time. And also wallpaper. Ugh, look at this disaster. <laughs> There's a reason people don't use it anymore. Uh, we'll go back into this room we found Freddy. Fleshy. Okay, we weren't able to see over here before. God, that is a loud fan. Sector... Zeth sector? Got anything over here we could do? Let's focus. No, nothing going on in here. <gasps> we'll look for interactable paper drawings throughout the map. They serve as a guide. Okay. So I missed that. So we need to be finding papers then. So we'll commence the looking around. Oh, there's one right there, yeah? Or just a weirdly placed picture on a door. What am I stuck on? God damn. Yeah, that painting is everywhere. <laughs> it's weird. Oh yeah, that wasn't there before. That's the door we came from. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, you are... What? I am the dark. I the... Oh. I'm, I'm struggling reading this. <laughs> you are not safe in the dark. There we go. The player's anxiety level gradually rises with prolonged exposure to darkness, creating a sense of escalating tension. Relatable. However, staying near a light source helps calm the player, reducing anxiety over time. The heart icon serves as a visual cue for anxiety, offering a clear indication of player's current state. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's not good. Uh, e for flashlight. Yep, turn that shit back on. Let's get away from that light. feel like it's about to break. And uh, find interactable paper drawings. Okay, so yeah, this demo is the tutorial level. <laughs> yeah, we just have to hunt out the tutorial. Let's check all the rooms for some nice little drawings. And maybe some light bulbs because I'm thinking we're gonna need them. Maybe. Maybe we actually still need to do something in that corner where the light was flickering. Need to actually uh there's another one actually. Okay, no, we're on the right path. We're just wandering and finding drawings. I could do that. That's easy. Find the pages. No problem. What the hell did that say? Find the camera. Ooh, do not like the sounds I'm hearing. Find a camera. 
Okay. Right here. <laughs> that was easy. You found... Oh! <laughs> Hello. You found a camera. Press Q to equip or unequip and hold R and B to release a bright flash, which will illuminate darkest areas. Okay. And repel the centipede! Okay. That's interesting. What's the goal now, though? Repel Freddy? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Don't think I'm prepared for this. But okay. Come and get it, big guy. I am ready for you. I got my camera. Oh, there he is! Hi! So you just gotta take pictures of him? <laughs> okay. I can handle that. I am quite the photographer myself. At least I like to think I am. I'm honestly not very good at taking pictures. You should see my camera roll. Oh, aren't you just a darling? Yeah, smile for the camera. Uh, nothing going on in there. Let's take pictures all around the house. Uh, is this like a boss fight? Do we just have to take enough pictures of him? Wait, what? Objective updated. Find intro. Okay, back to searching for papers. Let's get our flashlight back out. And pop that on. Okay, so far, no patrol, which was my worry when looking at the images on the- uh, Oh, get that camera out. Can he kill us? Is that something that could happen? Hang on. Forgot the button. There we go. <laughs> Listen to that giggle. He's having a good time. I am too, man. This is quite a little haunted house. Oh, another paper on that door. I wonder if they're random. If so, I'm getting pretty lucky because they are constantly on this- Oh, hey! <laughs> Didn't expect to see you around that corner. A little startling. Oh, what did that just do? Did it just bring me back to the beginning? No objective. Uh, okay, continue searching. Until we get to new objective then. Hopefully I didn't just break the game. I wonder if Freddy's the only one here. Oh, there's a paper on that door again. No Freddy this time. Uh, pierce through the darkness. Focused flash method. While focusing and after maintaining focus long enough, use your canvas flash while focusing to reveal unseen figures or threats following you to pinpoint their location. Keep in mind that the longer you focus, the sharper your senses become. Take your time. Reach full focus for maximum effectiveness before using the flash. However, be cautious. Uh, each use of focus flash slightly increases your anxiety. Follow my voice. Okay. Follow the voice. Probably upstairs, yeah. If you can keep talking, that would make it so much easier to follow that voice of yours. Please. You get lost easy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Quite the laugh. Okay, that was creepy. I will give you that. It sounds like she might be in this room. Oh, Freddy! See ya! <laughs> Ooh, that is bright. Okay, I don't think she's in here. Warning, a threat has made its move. What? It can go invisible at times. Watch out. What? Hello. Is that him? Is he still the threat or is there a new threat entering the arena? Also, where's the voice? It's been a minute. I'd like to hear it again. We're getting anxious. Let's just hang out by the light over here. <gasps> oh, you got me. You got me, Freddy. Well done, you dick. The centipede, sorry, not Freddy. The centipede got me. Has the ability to turn invisible at times. Pay close attention to the sound cues that signal when this happens. Once he's invisible, stay alert. Stay highly alert, as he could be anywhere near you. Remember, you, he cannot be repelled while invisible, so focus on pinpointing the location and avoiding him instead. Okay, so there is kind of a patrol, except it's like a patrol on steroids going invisible. Oh, damn. Well, you had to check my Follow list. my voice. Make it easier that your voice is very difficult to follow. <laughs> so, 
so harmless when he's just standing there. Much prefer him in that phase. Oops, hang on. Focus. Okay, nothing. <laughs> For some reason he got me there. Was not expecting him in this room. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got too close? <laughs> okay, you can get too close to him and he will grab you, that's fair. I thought he was pretty harmless when he just stood there. I was wrong. Noted. I will remember that for next time. I mean, you got two hands, kid. Why not use the flashlight and the camera? That's what I'd be doing. I'd be dual wielding that shit all night. <laughs> it's definitely in here, right? The ghost is its location to follow the voice. Oh, so we found it then. I think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not commentating very much. I am really focusing. Oh, got him. Is she in here? <laughs> I think he's outside. Fix this light. Okay, got the ghost. Pretty sure he's just outside. Why are all the lights out? I'm nervous. I don't want to restart. We've made so much progress. Is the flashlight enough? We're not coming down. Okay, we we are okay. She's probably upstairs now, yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the light. Calm down a bit. I'm nervous. I just don't want to fail. I'm not even scared. I just don't want to fail and restart. Because <laughs> this takes a while. Okay, I think she's downstairs. So I'm not hearing any giggles up here. Uh, no. it's, what? It's closing in on me. Well... Too much panic? To too much panic? <laughs> I think so. I think our heart's about to explode here. Just relax, dude. You got your flashlight on. You should be happy. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I think I used too much of his sanity. The centipede killed you due to your high anxiety level. To avoid this, keep your anxiety low. Staying under light. It's kind of rough because all the lights are fucking out at this point. <laughs> but let's give it another shot. I'm not sure if we're meant to be finding light bulbs. I've been looking, but I have not found any so far. And I feel like that would help a lot. Oh, there is one. Okay. Okay. That helps. I think I heard him. <laughs> Don't see him, though. Oh, he's in here. Maybe? Yes, there he is. I got him, I thought! What the shit? <sighs> okay, it's been a few days since I last played this game. I actually threw in the towel originally because there were many, many, many unsuccessful attempts. And then while I was editing, I realized, unsurprisingly to me, that I am an idiot. And it turns out you're not supposed to use a focus flash to get rid of the invisible centipede. You're meant to just straight up avoid him. You find him and you go around him. Makes sense now that the bedroom upstairs has a doorway to each side of the house. So yeah, we're gonna give this another few honest attempts and see if I can get it done because I do hate leaving it unfinished and when I realized that while editing, oh my god, it made so much sense. So yeah, let's give it another go. Hopefully I remember how to play well enough. And hopefully we're more lucky finding light bulbs because the other big challenge was I think after the second ghost, the light Lights all seem to go out, but not wasting all of my anxiety on the flash constantly should prove to make it a lot easier. So I'm not even sure you really need to use the camera to find the voice. You just need to get into the same room as it. 
from what I gather after editing and playing for many, many, many hours. So I'm hoping this attempt will go much more swimmingly. Okay, I think that was the voice for this room. So she should have moved. Yeah. So now I'm gonna turn up my volume actually. Because we really need to listen for his giggles. <gasps> okay, he's right there. Okay, may have to check every now and then and focus. Duh. Oh, light bulb, nice. Yes. Wonder how many you can carry at a time. That's another thing I need to do better at looking for. Light bulbs. I think I hear him. <laughs> Is he through the door there? <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, so we should be good to go around. I think she might be at the back door we first came in. I don't know. Honestly, I'm still not entirely sure what's going on in this game. But be quiet. I need to listen. Oh, this one's dark. The giggle might mean he moved? Now he's in here! Whew. It's gonna take me a while. Whew. Okay, so this is where the lights go out. Is he still over there? Okay, put a light bulb in. <sighs> so we only got two. There's still four more to go. Calm down, man. You're okay. You're in a light. Oh, I would be freaking out too right now if I were you. I think taking your time is kind of the key. No light bulbs in here either. I was kind of hoping to find one before we go upstairs. Okay, found number three. This is the furthest I've ever gotten. We can do this. <gasps> uh, okay. Ooh, another light bulb. Okay, so you can get more than one at a time. Nice. Okay, maybe not. I can't seem to pick this one up. So you can only hold one at a time, but we'll remember there's one in here. We'll come back here after we use this one, which will probably be soon. Oh, there's another light bulb right there, too. Ooh, they're everywhere. Damn it, I thought the voice would be in here for sure. I think it might be in the bathroom upstairs. Damn it. So it's the second voice. We got a couple light bulbs downstairs. Damn, you can't see shit when the lights are out. Should be okay in this light. Calm down, kid. You're fine. <laughs> Your anxiety is just through the fucking roof. The second you take one picture, like, it is <laughs> already a pounding. I think she's in the bathroom over here. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Put on the light bulb. I don't think he can be in the bathrooms, which is kind of nice. And I also don't think she's actually in here. Okay, probably on the other hallway. Oh, okay, we got her. She was in the kitchen. Wait here for a bit. <sighs> it's 
eerily quiet. Damn. I think the lights went out in here. What the fuck was that? A presence of a ghost has been felt. This will increase your anxiety depending on the scare intensity. Watch out. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tense. Oh, that's the fourth one. Oh, don't fuck up now, Marlene. One other light bulb, too. Okay, there's one in here again. Probably go upstairs now, yeah. I'll wait here and calm down. The ghost is the location yet. We're good. Let's put a light here. Sorry I'm not talking very much. This is intense. Oh, what am I hearing? Get to the light. Get back to the light. Get back to the light. Safe in the light. <sighs> Just relax, kid. <laughs> this house gets creepy when there's no fucking lights, let me tell ya. I hear him now. Not here, though. Going back to the light. <laughs> We're freaking out. The anxiety is just insane. Like, there's already so fucking much going on that makes this game a challenge, but the anxiety combined with it all is a bit much, and the lack of. I wish you could carry more than one light bulb because I would have this place lit the fuck up. Calm down, kid. You're in light. Relax. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, back to the light, back to the light. Please don't burn out. Holy shit, dude. This is fucking freaky. I don't, it's gonna burn out. It's gonna burn out. Bitch. <laughs> we might be screwed. If he's down here, we're screwed. All the lights went out? Are you fucking kidding me? Back to the bathroom, there's a light bulb in there. I can't breathe. I can't. Can we save this? I can't fucking breathe. Can we save this? Yeah, I think we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Well, we found the ghost. <laughs> and the centipede. Lovely. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna give it one more try, but that attempt alone took 20 minutes, and the attempt prior to that took close to the same, and then just to lose it all, it just- all it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting better, but honestly, the challenges just keep stacking up, and then they added a whole freaking new scare mechanic where your anxiety can just fucking fly through the roof out of your control, and light bulbs will just burst so you have no way to get it back down. It just feels like too much. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm complaining, but damn, it really is a challenge. But yeah, this is the last attempt. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to play today. So unfortunately, I just don't even think I have it in me to finish this game. Even if I did have all day, I don't know if I have it in me to finish this game. It's just surprisingly challenging. I will, of course, link it in the description below. If you want to give it a shot for yourself, then let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how it ends. I'm sure there's already plenty of videos out there if you, <laughs> if you really want to see how it ends. But I just don't think you're going to see it here, and I'm sorry. I really do hate leaving a game unfinished, but... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad, but this just feels like too much for me. Oh, hey, buddy. You gonna let me go up here? Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, there's a light bulb. Yes, please. Oh, he turns with you a little bit.
I think she's in that room. <laughs> I already know that once I find this voice, all the lights are gonna go out again. Oh, we don't have another one. Shit. Hopefully she's in that room. Fucking shush! Jesus Christ, girl! Please be calm in here where there's light. <laughs> Who's Michael? Is that a character in Five Nights at Freddy or is that someone unique to this fan game? I don't know, but that was pretty scary. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna- we're good to go straight here. Like, her anxiety's already fucking flying up again. I barely even did anything. Okay, she was in here. Cool. Is that a light bulb there that's, like, mildly glowing? I think so. I hope so. Okay, I think we're good. Let's grab it. Please be a light bulb. Oh, it is good. God, I wish I could run. So bad. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. Okay, just relax for a bit. You're in the light, kid. You're fine. You got a flashlight and a light. You should be okay. I feel like it's not going down, though. Come on, calm down. Calm the fuck down. There we go. <sighs> That's better. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I was hoping it'd be in here. That'd be too easy, though. I feel like this light's about to go out. <laughs> and it's out. <sighs> Let's go hang in this light for a bit. Nope. Let's <sighs> light up there. Fuck it, we're using it. <laughs> so they only last a certain amount of time. That sucks. I think we're good to go straight here. Yeah, okay. She might be in the bathroom over here. I like how they glow though, that's really nice. <laughs> Shush, stop doing that. Put in the light, put in the light, put in the light. Pretty sure she's in here. Okay, we should be okay. We should be okay. Who is yelling like that? She's obviously not friendly, right? Like, douche move to be fucking banging on doors and screaming our name. And also, she's obviously not in here, goddammit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she was. Okay. I don't know how many more there's left. I've lost count. 
Not like we're gonna make it anyway, so whatever. <laughs> okay, we're relaxed. Oh, this light's out now, are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta hustle. We gotta fucking figure this shit out quick. Is that a light bulb by any chance? Oh, it is, thank fucking god. We'll just put it here. Come on, come on, come on. Please hurry. It is insane how bad our anxiety is right now on this night. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure I hear him giggling all over the fucking place right now too. Come on. Okay. We're not going that way. Can we go upstairs though? Will he get us if we go upstairs? Where did he go? Just enjoy the light. <laughs> Sounds like he's over this way. Yeah, there he is, okay. We'll wait, and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Well, he's accounted for. I don't know how quickly he moves or how often. Red light. So hopefully the flashlight's enough. I don't think it is. Okay, we got her. But we're gonna go panicked. We're gonna freak the fuck out here. Just go the way we came. Calm down, Michael. It's okay. What? what? Does this count? Is this good? Is this good? <laughs> I think we might be okay in here. Oh god, I hope so. I don't want to do this again. I'm not going to do this again. This is the last try. I think we're good though. Are we okay? I feel like we're calming down. Right? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm fucking nervous. Okay, yeah, we are. We're good. Could use another light bulb here though in a second. Oh good, our light's still on down here. Oh no, it's going out! Shh! Shit. I think I see a light bulb there though. Oh no, it's just... <sighs> Stay in here. There's light in here. Calm down. Be calm. I'm shaking a bit. This is hard. And stressful. I'm stressed. Okay, back to the other room. Back to the light. Back to the light. It's okay. Everything's okay in the light. Oh, and there's a light bulb. Yes. Just relax. You're safe in here. For now. <laughs> there's one thing I've learned about this game is you're not exactly safe anywhere. Okay, I'm thinking the voice might be upstairs. I hope not though. We'll put a light here.
And I saw another light bulb there, which is perfect. God damn, it's fucking hard to see. Oh, fuck. Okay, get rid of him, calm down, and hopefully she's in that room, I doubt it. I don't actually know which rooms I've checked yet. safe in here. Oh, another light bulb, okay. Oh, God, the anxiety is just stupid. I'm thinking it's upstairs. I think we gotta go back upstairs. Okay, leave him. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the most stressful game I've ever played in my entire life. Okay, we're freaking out a little bit, but we're by a light, so we should be okay. <laughs> okay, sounds like it's to the left. Maybe in the bathroom over here. Damn it. Oh, we're out of light bulbs, too. Michael. Oh. Brother. Brother? Michael! Huh? Why is it going red? Anxiety level too high. Oh, shit, dude. What's the objective? Escape? Oh, okay. <laughs> Where? I can't see shits. Probably the door we came out of. Hopefully, I don't know, that's where I'm going. We'll see if I die, die. This is the last attempt. <sighs> God, I can't see anything. Good thing we've fucking gone through this house a thousand times, so I know the layout, like, the back of my hand. I think I might know better than the layout of my own home. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, it's open. Yes, thank God. I am so relieved. This is where we were meant to go. I hope, anyway. What the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> Oh my god, you have no idea how frustrating this game was. Oh my god. Press space to proceed. Gladly. <laughs> Just let me catch my breath for a second. I was holding my breath for half of that. And I'm a little shaky. <laughs> I'm just relieved I finished it. Yay. You made it. You're goddamn right I did. And it wasn't easy. <laughs> it appears to me that you now realize of what those eyes are capable of. <laughs> Still not entirely sure. You see their shade. You hear their whispers of our eyes or of them or of whoever was calling our name, our sister, apparently. <laughs> Michael does this. Well, oh, that might be who's talking to us right now, actually, isn't it? Look familiar to you? Um. No, <laughs> you remember their faces. I think that's Springtrap. Or is that Freddy again? I can't quite make it out. If you know, let me know in the comments. It's your best friend's favorite bunny. Oh, it is. Perhaps maybe even your best friend himself. <laughs> can you sense them in the dark? Right now, yes. Yes, I can. That suffocating weight, the chill that crawls beneath your skin. Every shadow is a reminder. This probably hits a lot harder if you know all the lore and played all the games. <laughs> Every whisper a prelude to the inevitable. Every breath you take pulls them closer. Now. Watch closely, Michael. As the darkness breathes. 
and the shadows awaken. <sighs> okay, I was very much expecting a jump scare there through the window <laughs> coming soon. Whew, got to admit, I'm not sure if I have it in me to play the full length game of this. I didn't even really have it in me to play the demo. Honestly, still in a state of shock at the fact that I was able to finish this one to begin with. I honestly did not expect to be able to going in it today. And especially after the first couple of fails we had along with the other probably close to double digits. I definitely hit the double digits in fails on this game. So in my opinion, and apologies if I'm a little bit shaky during this outro, honestly, you have no idea how stressed I was playing that and how much relief I feel finishing it. But regardless, with that said, I do find this game a little bit too difficult. This demo was a bit much. As I said before, I'm not sure if it's just because it's a demo and they wanted to show everything that the full game will have to offer, but damn did the difficulty ramp up so fast. And also there's a little bit of RNG when it comes to where the voice is, how far you're gonna have to go for it between each movement along with the invisible centipede oh being anywhere at any time was very stressful granted once you learn the mechanics and how everything works obviously it gets easier with a lot of trial and error and persistence <laughs> but difficulty aside i will say this game is looking very promising and if you like a challenge and if you like five nights at freddy i could see this being a real good time for you to me i don't know if i could play the full one it's just too difficult, too stressful. The anxiety I feel like could use some work. I think it was a little too unforgiving and uh, the lack of sprint also kind of sucks just because when you fail and have to redo it, it sucks moving that character slow ass around that whole house to find that ghost voice each time. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. I'm sure I'll think of a lot of other things to say after I'm done recording and after editing especially, but for now, we'll just leave it at that. I need to take a step away from my computer and walk around a bit and calm down because whew, I am still shaking a little bit. <laughs> of course, let me know what you thought in the comments below and thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.